Okay, I'm recording now. So I'm going to talk on um, what I would do if uh, just some views on COVID and my views on um, what I would do if I got COVID um, and also share a bit of my experience around it. So everything, you know, the Course in Miracles um, and I'm, um, is uh, Lesson 76 is um, I'm under no, no laws but God's. I'm under no laws but God's. So within the collective of humanity, um, there's lots of uh, collective belief systems, thoughts, belief systems that are floating around in the collective. And there's my personal thoughts that I've taken on uh, myself or from the collective. And, uh, and COVID is just one of these belief systems that has manifested uh, in the collective. Um, so another thing to note is that if you're an advanced spiritual seeker, um, I come from an addiction background when I was, um, you know, I think one of the good things about being in he heavy addiction and fear and feeling separated in the world, feeling like you're, you're attached to the body and you need these hits from, th uh, from things in the world is that um, you're at such a negative level that if you take on another negative belief system from the collective, it's just like, so what? You've got 300 negative belief systems and you've got another one. So your life life was horrible before and it'll just be horrible again, whatever. So it's, it's almost like it <clears throat> does, doesn't matter if you pick up the junk floating around in the collective. But if you've done a lot of spiritual work and you um, you have to be careful when you've done a lot of spiritual work and you're happy, joyous and free or in the holy instant mm -hmm. on, on, um, on a regular basis, the eternal now, the holy instant, the oneness, um, beyond time and separation. Uh, if, if you're in that field and you've had these, what I describe as experiences of miraculous flow, timeless miraculous flow, then um, if you then subject yourself, because um, now I forgot the lesson, but you know, you, I'm only one of the course lessons is I'm only affected by my thoughts. I'm only affected by my thoughts, or I would say I'm only affected by the beliefs I hold in mind. I hold in my ego mind. So anything that I hold in, in my ego mind, I'm subject to. And if you're at a high level of um, of um, of, of uh, the holy instant where you're in those sublime states, then um, to indulge in negativity, to indulge in drama, to feed the ego will quickly mean that you'll quickly uh, pick up those thoughts from the collective and they'll start to run. And in fact, it's even worse if you've been in high spiritual states, if you now indulge in the collective belief systems and thoughts, because they can manifest very rapidly. So this is the one thing, if you've been doing the Course in Miracles or a lot of heavy spiritual work and you've been in sublime states, you cannot really afford to allow yourself to tune in to fields of uh, drama, to fields of collective uh, fear-based uh, limited beliefs and thoughts from the collective. Because as you do, that great power of the infinite, of the holy instant, just put a negative thought now, it will just manifest very rapidly. So you can go from heaven to, to hell really rapidly by just uh, manifesting in your perception, shall we say, from the course perspective, in your perception of experience, uh, the, the, the nightmare, which are, if you like, different radio frequencies of the collective's uh, fear-based tuning in to separation and fear. And perception is just different, dependent on the level. So now I could easily, you know, like people are just ringing me up. One of my good friends rang me up and tried to give me a, a earful of conspiracy theories. And I've been telling him like, I'm not that interested in listening to his views on conspiracy theories and negativity. And he shut up, but I did listen to him. And then it took me a couple of days to just get rid of that junk that was now floating around these thoughts, which I know I, can, I cannot afford to hold these thoughts and give them any kind of identification in mind. Anyway, luckily that's all gone. I don't particularly want to indulge in them because if I do indulge in those thoughts, anyway, uh, sorry, 
keep it focused on this particular video. So what suddenly, if I'm starting to feel like I've got COVID or I get um, in my perception within the dream, shall we say, the collective, that, that, oh yes, we confirm, you now have COVID and I'm coughing and I feel ill, then I've picked it up, you know, so I have to undo it. Um, so I've picked up the magical belief system, which I now subscribe to along with the collective, uh, the collective, uh, <clears throat> the collective uh, idea that there is such a thing as COVID. There is such a thing as a collective fear and limitation and that I should subscribe to those radio bands that I'm now tuned into and now I, it is showing up in my perception, in my experiencing or my, my ego experiencing or perception, shall we say. So I've now picked it up and I'm subject to it. So I now have to undo that. So lesson 14, I love lesson 14 of A Course in Miracles. God did not create COVID, so it's not real. God did not create conspiracy theories in the collective, and so they're not real. God did not create my hacking cough, so it is not real. God did not create long COVID, so it is not real. God did. Now, if I pick up a belief system, I'm expressing it or I'm experiencing it in my perception, that means I have to undo it because as long as the thought is held within the ego mind, I, I will be in my perception that will occur in my experience. So I've now identified and tuned in to the collective band, a certain wavelength of the band of fear and separation. So in order to undo it, I have to undo it with equal ferocity. Now that I subscribe to these thoughts and beliefs, and now that it's occurring in my perception, I now have to undo it with equal ferocity. They cannot afford to keep uh, identity. In each split second, you know, I, I would do the course. I mean, the wonderful thing with the course lessons is it, you know, it teaches discipline and ferocity throughout the day. And if you pick up a nightmare, for me, in my experience, um, you've got to undo it with equal ferocity. I've had many miracles occur once these things no longer exist for me, but I have to get to the place and apply the course lessons with enough intensity, even non-stop throughout the day until it starts to disappear, even for days on end. And then these things start to become, you know, as you render them meaningless, uh, the, as the identif identification with these thoughts dissolves, then the perception shifts as they start to disappear in meaninglessness. And then one, one's experience of limited separation and duality or, or fear starts dissolving and one slowly returns to the holy instant, the oneness, the infinite uh, experience beyond time, uh, where everything is like dissolving from perception or dream state to that of, of, um, <clears throat> you know, of eternity, of oneness, of divine flow, of divine orchestration beyond uh, fear and limitation, as if that was a <clears throat> could potentially be a reality. So COVID. Well, what's a showing up in your experience is what you're holding in mind. I'm not against, you know, I, in fact, I have. I've taken magical cures, vitamin C, uh, things, pills, whatever, because uh, if you believe those work, they will. So I'm not against doing that in the meantime until you let the thoughts go to access the, that which is beyond the dream, which will just wipe away any such fearful perceptions. Um, so, yes take vitamin C, do what's necessary, and then ferociously apply the, the lessons that remove it. I mean, I particularly like lesson 14, God has not created COVID, so it's not real. God did not create uh, conspiracy theories, they're not real. God did not create my attraction to conspiracy theories, and so it is not real. God, <clears throat> God has not created fear and separation, so it is not real. God has not created long COVID symptoms. God did not create coughs, and so it is not real. Uh, God did not create. <clears throat> God did not create ill health. God did not, you know, whatever it is. God did not create a lethargic body, and so it is not real. Depending on, but if if what's showing up is creating nastiness in one's perception, then just uh, have the humility, in my view, to um, to dissolve those things that seem to be occurring, and uh, seem to be sticking in one's uh, experience. So. Um, I'm just going to stop this and start another recording immediately on, um, on, yeah, I'm pressing.